It's Sunday, March 25th, and these are the happenings of the week. Don't forget about EJ3 single release concert tonight at 6 p.m. Since we are hosting this event, everyone is asked to be on post. School of Ministry will be tomorrow at 7 p.m. Greeters, you will have your meeting this Wednesday after Bible study. Children's Choir Rehearsal this Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Youth Praise Team Rehearsal Saturday at 11.30 a.m. And Dance Rehearsal Saturday at 12.30. Just a heads up, don't forget about Friends and Family Day on May 20th. So start inviting your friends and family now. Also, let's not forget about our resurrection service on April 8th, which is Easter Sunday. Invite someone to be your special guest on Easter Sunday as well. There are still employment opportunities available at the media counter. So if you're seeking employment, go by the media counter today. And if you're good at marketing, Barry Cheney Ministries is looking for you. Go to the media counter for more details. Don't forget about Project 365. This is the assessment for our first family. And if you have not, begin to put back for this assessment. 2012 has promised to be a year of divine order. Join us for Leadership Conference 2012, April 4th, 5th, and 6th, beginning at 7 p.m. nightly. This year's theme is Walking in Divine Order. Conference speakers are Apostle Barry T. Cheney, Pastor Connie Wright of House of Faith Ministries in Somerville, Tennessee, and Pastor Adrian Rogers of New Dimensions Ministries of Memphis, Tennessee. Music will be provided by New Life's Praise and Worship Team, Warren Davis. And Adrienne Lewis of Risen. There is no conference fee, and you can register online at newlifetn.org. So join New Life Christian Center for Leadership Conference 2012, April 4th through the 6th at 7 p.m. Let's walk in order. This week, we are praying for. If you're in need of prayer or know someone in need of prayer, please submit the names on a prayer request form so that Apostle Cheney can pray over these names and requests. At this time, we would like to welcome all our first time visitors. Feel free to join us in any of the following services. Sundays at 10 a.m and first Sundays at 5 p.m. for communion and water baptism. Wednesdays at 7 p.m. with classes for all ages. If you need a ride, call 731-427-9855, extension 4, to arrange your ride. Feel free to order today's message for you or for someone else on DVD or CD. Stop by the Media Center in the foyer or feel free to visit our bookstore where today you can get chicken quesadillas and also get good reading and study material as well. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Tamia Curry on the 29th, Sierra Rowell on the 31st, and Courtney Easley also on the 31st. So from New Life, happy birthday, and we wish you many, many more. Now stay tuned for Listen Up. Whosoever shall be ashamed of me, and of my words of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and in his Father's, and of the holy angels. But I tell you of a truth that shall be. 
Yo, what's good, man? Y'all, yeah, you already know what it is, man. The KGP, you know what I'm saying? We just chilling. Yeah, man. A part of the night? Nah, man, I probably can't do nothing, man. You know I got stuff to do on Wednesday. Man, she gonna be there though. Ooh, man. You know I've been trying to get on, but I can't do it though, man. I can't do it, man. Yeah, I got something to do on Wednesday, man. You already know what it is. Oh, I. What time y'all going, man? About ten. Yeah, you know, yeah, ten. Hours. It should be all right. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. I'll just meet y'all there though. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, one. GP, if you couldn't tell by that Oscar winning performance, you know GP getting this Dizel on. Thank you, Lord. But anyway, I'm here to talk about how to tell your friends that you saved. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what? A lot of y'all still struggle with that because the kid used to struggle with that. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's hard sometimes. I mean, you really want to do the right thing. You give your life to Christ. You, you in your word. You going to church. But... You still want to be liked by your friends. So when you go by your friends, they ain't doing what you're doing because they still doing that stuff that you came out of. But you really, you be in this like tug of war. You, you want to be cool with them, but you want to do the right thing at the same time. But you find yourself sometimes bowing in the pressure. Peer pressure can be something else. But I'm here to let you know. I just read the scripture. If you be ashamed of God, he go be ashamed of you. So think about this. Now, you would rather be liked by your friends and go back doing what they're doing rather than glorifying God. Rather than when the judgment day come, God's going to be ashamed of you because you want to be liked by your friends. That don't sound right. So you need to let some boldness rise up in you because you know what? They need Jesus too. See, that's what a friend do. When you get saved, you go tell them about Jesus so they can get saved. I'm preaching better than I'm getting an amen in here. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do that scenario over. We're going to replay it, and I'm going to show you what to do when that situation occurs. And of the holy angels. Fam, what's good with it? Yeah, man, we over here getting ready. A party tonight. Nah, man, I think I'm going to pass on that, though. Yeah, yeah, I know she found out. But listen, check this out. Check this out, though, fam, man. For real, real talk, man. Real talk. The kid done with that, man. Yeah, man. You know, it's time to do something different. You know what I'm saying? I, I done gave my life to Christ, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I know you laughing. <laughs> but it's real, though. Yeah, man. We, we, got to, we got to grow up out here, man. We, we can't keep doing the same thing over and over. You know what I'm saying? People dying out here, man. We don't want to die and go to hell, do we? Yeah. See, I'm, I, I know I'm preaching to you. Yeah, you ought to be listening. <laughs> no, no, but check this out. Check this out, though, man. Let me come get you at 7 o'clock, man. Yeah, I know. what. Just, just roll with me, man. Don't be asking me all these questions. Now, now I roll with you all them times. You got me to go to all these places. I ain't asked no questions. You was just like, hop in the car, GP. So, I'm doing you like that. You hop in the car with the kid. I got you. We go get something to eat. We go do all that. You go kick it with the kid, though. I'm going to take you to where the best party is. All right, dude. Yeah. All right. I got you. 7 o'clock. Be ready. Yeah. All right. One. 